Scream has finally started streaming again, and his stream is just so fun to watch. He's a really charismatic guy, and he is probably the best aimer in all of Valorant, but there's over 50% headshot accuracy on his Vandal, and 50% on his Ghost, that's ridiculous. Scream finished rank 1 and rank 2 last act, holding both spots, which is just insane. I, mean, I don't know how he does it. Today we're going to break down one of his Reina games on Breeze and see just how he plays it in order to carry so hard in his games and see what we can implement into our own games. So let's go. Alright, so he's starting off the game here with, you know, the classic Reina buy of just Ghost plus one flash. Solid buy, it works everywhere. There's no downside to it. There's, there's a couple other buys at Reina, but this is like the most smooth, most common one. Feels good, you got everything. A lot of, some Reinas will go with just double devour. But on a map like Breeze, the flash is very valuable. On like some tighter maps where the flash isn't as good, you can go for the double devour, it's pretty strong. Of course, Reina in pistol rounds is very, very scary when she gets one. That's snowballing really hard. So he's gonna go for a peak mid here. Actually changes his mind, backs off. Look like all day main, that's the first pick there. Nice shots on the Viper. See, now he's overhealed. So yeah, he's just... Once you're overhealed as Reyna, all you want to be doing is trying to get that fight. He tanks the headshot, gets... Ooh, down to 1 HP. The double dink onto the Sova. At this point here... <laughs> yeah, he's, he's trying to explain that he has 1 HP to his, uh, his teammate. Of course, if you're 1 HP, you don't you don't want your teammate to be peeking. It's very, very scary. If you're on 1 HP, you want to be first contact to the enemy. Because if you're second contact, they can... The enemy can hit a lucky flick over to you, hit you in the body, and you just die. Whereas if you're first contact, they're going to go for that headshot. They don't even need the headshot, and then boom, your teammate can get an easy trade. But they pick up the pistol around here. Easy clap. Hit some really nice shots as well. He's actually, uh, he's in a 5 stack here, with, um, I'm not sure who they are. But, uh, they're probably just his friends. But he's on his, uh, he's on his rank 2 account. So the MMR is really high still. Just for the Guardian buy here. Honestly, after the Spectre nerfs, the Guardian and the Bulldog are really strong second buy. They're, like, actually really good. Because they have, they're so much better against full buys, and all you have to do is just sell a little bit of utility. But you don't need much utility anyway. Because the enemies are so weak on the second, second round. Going for the quick rotate here. Reyna is a pretty solid quick rotator. You don't really want to be anchoring down sights as Reyna. Oh, almost gets the headshot. And dodge the flash in time. Nice. <laughs> Viper gets a knife. <laughs> it's called them toxic in fridge. Not bad, not bad. Hold on a bit here. So he's gonna hold down. Um, he's gonna hold down vent or not vents. Tube. He's gonna hold it down. Watch his for help his neon. See some action on the map. This angle is really strong with uh, headshot weapons, especially the guardian. Boom, easy, just like that. Free kill. Just think about the Guardian, you don't even need- Ooh! A headshot through the smoke, sees the... Gun glare, or whatever it's called. The bullet trail, that's it. Ooh! <laughs> Where you're at? Yeah, the Guardian is so strong, though. You don't even need headshots with the gun. Like, you can just spam people to the body after the buffs. It's really, really good. Just like that, 3-0 though. That's exactly where you want to be, starting off the game. This is why learning how to play with pistols is so important. If you have a really good pistol round, you'll have so many more wins in your games. You'll have so much more on other people who don't practice their pistol. Because pistol rounds snowball the entire half. Because the enemy are going to be down 0-4 here, most likely. Just because I lost pistol. 
Just goes for the rotate here. Can't really get much done in mid. Obviously, the Phantom isn't the best in mid. Oh. <laughs> they don't really have a uh, good... They don't have a chamber or a cypher or someone, so they can't really watch the tube very well. Viper going crazy. <laughs> and you'll notice whenever you watch Scream, he is so he's so hyperactive when he plays. He keeps the team's morale up so high. Especially in a region like EU where everyone is just toxic, tilted as fuck. He'll try his best to keep everyone, you know, keep them all happy. Keep them all not focusing so hard on trying to win that they actually throw their own games. Because that's one thing a lot of people will do. They'll focus so hard and trying to win the game that they'll just end up hurting their own chances because they'll start playing super safe. They won't make the plays that they need to make. And then whenever any teammates make a mistake, they just tilt off the planet and just start like not trying anymore. What happens? Just chilling here. And just waiting for Sova's contact. You see, this is this is what people don't do enough in lower elo. It's just playing off their teammates. I guarantee, if that was a low elo Reyna, he would have just been peeking out, just swinging out for no reason. Even though Sova is in such a a good position to trade off of, you know. Like if your teammates are like out in the open, don't don't just stand out in the open like next to them, you know. If you're in a good position, don't give it up. You can just trade them. Especially on a character like Reyna, you really wanna, really wanna be getting those kills. Obviously, you don't wanna be baiting, but if they're already out, you know. Ooh! Easy double headshot there. See, it didn't spray there. If he, a lot of people, especially in Reyna, people just panic spray. It just happens. That's why um, a lot of people hate like the stem beacon effect, but. Try and control that. Try and not spray. Especially with the Vandal, you'll be uh, hitting a lot more headshots. It's tagged by the drone. Over doesn't have ult though, so he's alright. You see how he's not just rotating around the place with his knife out? I see so many people just run around with their knife out whenever they're not in a gunfight, but like... Oh, oh, I can't find it. Just because you can't see an enemy doesn't mean there's going to be an enemy. So just... Unless you know it's guaranteed a free rotate, don't don't take your knife out. Way too risky. Walks through the molly here. Of course, people don't expect you walking through the molly. A lot of the time. Oh. Jet with the knives. I quite pick up one. They didn't give him any opportunity there. They go for a quick peek mid here. Have the info. Get with an op. Nice. It's a good flash there. He's able to get his knee on a free kill. Now, Reyna doesn't have much to her kit, but. All of her skill expression, a lot of it is just aim, but you know, there is some, there's like, deciding, nice headshot, deciding when to heal and when to dismiss is a big one. I see a lot of people just, just randomly using one, they're like full HP and they'll use a heal for no reason. Like it's their instant reaction, just heal if you get a kill. But like, the orbs are there for a good while, you can think about it. Unless you're in immediate danger, you don't have to pick up the orbs, you know, you can you can just think about it, let the situation evolve and see what you need. Obviously Scream's very good at that. And the flashes, always throw the flashes high. Because sometimes you want to throw them low, but majority of the time it's just better to throw them high. The enemy will have to flick back down to you. A lot harder. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Can I get one more? That's the dismi- Oh. Almost. <laughs> I 
<laughs> His taps are so good, man. It's honestly like, it's not even just how accurate he is. It's just the fact that he is so good at just tapping the gun. You know what I mean? He, like he knows exactly how many bullets he can fire without accidentally bursting. You know what I mean? Like he won't accidentally fire like four bullets or two, even two bullets. Because that will fuck the Vandal's recoil up a lot. Which is honestly, it's a, sk it's a skill in itself, you know? Yeah, he just gets rolled this round though. Shot on the side, no one's watching double doors. We're taking over B here this time. Let's see how he's moving around the map. You know, it's just about every high level player. They don't just do the same shit over and over again. Ooh. Aww. <laughs> Getting a bit overconfident there. But honestly, it's better. I would. I'd take an overconfident player any day over a. Uh, you know, like a more reserved, self-conscious player. Because if you're if you're super overconfident and aggressive, it's a lot easier to cut, like tame yourself and like stop playing as aggressive than it is to teach a non-aggressive player how to be aggressive. You know, it's a lot easier that way. But um, yeah. Because if you're if you're super aggressive as well, you're learning the game much faster. Because you're, you're testing your limits over and over again. See what you can get away with and what you can't get away with. Because if you're playing too defensive, you're not really getting anything done. Sometimes you're just actually just getting carried by lucky teammates. You know? Like, even people think, like, you can't play aggressive on, like, Sentinels and stuff, but it's just incorrect. You can have more aggressive setups. You don't need to just play... Like, people just play for retake and just run away. Like, that's... Not very good unless they're playing five duelists, you know. And it doesn't do what your character's meant to do. He's going out here mid here with his teammates. Always ask your teammates to come with you. Ooh, saves his neon there. Almost gets blasted by the soul bolt. Could be up tube here. No one's been watching it. Yep, there he is. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Just having some fun. Oh, I can't get the one top. A3 now on the half, not bad at all. Goes over B again. Who thinks the enemies might just come B here? I always think about why, why your enemies are gonna do, what's their next step. And if you're wrong, you know what happens. You better off trusting your gut and learning from it, other than just doing the same thing over and over again. So killing the Viper here, huge kill. Ups the Rain ult. He was expecting the jet to dash out there, that's why he threw the flash. Ooh, that was close. Oh. Just tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Getting sick of the cypher who's just lurking all game. It's so, it's so annoying when someone's lurking like this and you don't have someone to watch the flank. <laughs> it looks like they're pr yeah, they lost this round here. 8-4 is not a bad half though. You're pretty happy with 8-4. You're kind of in the driver's seat. If you if you win the pistol, you were like actually so far ahead. But if you lose the pistol, it's quite scary. Then it's eight six, and then if you lose that round, they're back to eight eight pretty much. And then you know, honestly, this game even no matter what the scoreline is, this game is always close. The thing about Valorant comebacks are so so common. Oh, 
Hold down, hold down. Gets the kill through the smoke. Gets the heal up here. Oh, that was kind of unlucky. He got uh, he got tagged as he went for the heal, so the heal didn't go through properly. But everyone died anyway, so it probably didn't matter. And you can see again, straight away. The first thing you do when you lose a pistol round, buy a sheriff. Always buy a sheriff. You don't need every single piece of util to win. Like, people, people hate not full buying for some reason. I don't know what it is. People, like, if they don't have every ability plus heavy armor, they're like... They don't think it's a full buy. But, like... You wanna, you wanna fight in chance every round. You don't wanna be throwing rounds for eco. That's just stupid. If you're throwing rounds for eco, it's like... It, it doesn't make sense to the game. You're trying to win the game. You're not trying to win the economy. It's the beautiful headshot there. You know, it's not it's not like you're playing banking simulator, you're playing Valorant, you wanna get kills. One enemy if you get a kill on the enemy, you can steal their gun, you know? The more buys, the better. And if you can go light armor with a sheriff too, if you're confident with your sheriff, it's so strong. Even though he didn't take damage here, it's still it's so much easier to kill people running at you with a spectre because they need more bullets to kill. Now you can upgrade straight up to the Vandal. And the enemy are fucked now. No, that's why you always buy sheriffs. Perfect example. But the sheriff is the biggest like culprit of thrifty rounds. Like it's it happens so often. Whereas the classic, you know, it's like broken sometimes but it's very rng after the nerfs it's quite like rare to actually just right click one tap someone nowadays compared to back in the day this guy just runs through with a shorty <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> even in radiant lobbies man people are doing some dumb shit Can't find the jet here. Could be anywhere. <laughs> the Viper just keeps saying all down. Some huge comms coming out. N5 now. Just an absolute... F they, like, the game is... It's still like... They have like half their rounds, but they just feel like they're in the driver's seat here. They just... It just feels like they're bare. You know? Where's five stack game I reviewed? But uh, yeah, Scream hasn't been streaming too much, so... This was, he's only really been playing in stacks. <laughs> Ooh. A lot of shit going on here. It's that... Oh. See how he moves between every bullet as well. This is the perks of not spraying. You can keep counter strafing back and forth, back and forth. It's much harder to hit you when you're doing this. He gets the jiggle on the up there. One of the biggest counters to the up. The little jiggle peek. Let's say you counter the up. You want to either use util to make him go away and play retake, which is very harder than up, or you want to get a jiggle peek at. Make him fire a shot, and then boom, you can actually walk in. Because there's such a big delay on the shots between the up. Absolutely no idea what he's saying, but... Just the way he says what's funny. What are they doing here? They kill with a neon wall, is it? Or is that his ult? No, it's his ult. Oh, there's a wall. <laughs> neon was all by himself there. <laughs> he makes it look so easy, man. 
He just walks out and gets headshots, you know? It's crazy. I think they're giving each of their teammates a chance to just go and try it on their own. Turn 1v5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> They're just fucking trolling this man. Looks sake. Instantly headshot. <laughs> Bro, what is? He's a fucking animal, man. Oh my god! Stop. This is not fair. Holy shit. He's actually an aimbot. <laughs> He's just laughing, bro. What the fuck, man? He's actually different. Oh, he's so fun to watch, though. Oh, yeah, well. That's gonna be the game for today. So, um. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.